Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mine Ethereum on a Windows 10 PC. Now, it might look intimidating at first, but I'll walk you through a few easy to follow steps to get you up and running quickly. There are three things that we're going to need to get started. First, you're going to need a wallet that sports Ethereum. There are many options that are out there. They're easy to install. And what you need from this is the wallet address so you can get paid for mining. A few options are the Exodus wallet, Trust wallet, and MetaMask. I've put links in the description below to help you get them installed if you haven't installed one already. Next, what you're gonna to need to do is find a pool. In this tutorial, we're gonna use Ethermine, but you can replace this with any pool of your choice. This is just a popular pool that's out there with reasonable fees. Lastly, you're gonna install a miner. Now, today we're installing LOL Miner or LOL Miner. This one has risen to popularity because of its stability. Uh, I was gonna use Phoenix Miner, but there's been a lot of issues with possible malicious scripts, and I wanna avoid as many issues for my viewers as possible. So those are the three things you're gonna need, so let's get started. So we'll first begin by opening up our browser and heading over to GitHub. GitHub is where LOL Miner is being hosted. There'll be a link in the description directly to this webpage so you can easily find it. Now, LOL Miner supports many algorithms and ETHash is the algorithm that we wanna use. And if we scroll down a bit here, you can see that it's in the list of supported algorithms. Let me just scroll down a bit. And they also show the percentage of the fee that they're taking. So here it is, and the fee is 0.7%, which is fairly reasonable. And that's why we're using this miner. Now we're gonna jump over to version 1.28a. This is the latest version that's supported by Windows. So if you scroll down here at the bottom, you'll see the Windows zip file that we can download and click on it. It's a very small file, so when you download it, it'll download to your downloads folder. And then the next thing we're gonna do is extract it. So I'm gonna open up my downloads folder and here is the zip file. And uh, let me just minimize this window and center it a bit here. Okay, so we'll right click on it and then we're gonna extract all the files from this folder into our downloads folder as well. And we'll just let it extract here. Now you may get a prompt from your antivirus software. We wanna make sure that you add this folder to the exclusion list so your antivirus software does not remove it. If it removes the lull miner, then you won't be able to mine. So it was copied to the desktop here. So here is the folder. Let me just open it up in here. And this is all the contents of the folder. So there's many different algorithms that are in here. And I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see it a little clearer. Now these are all batch files for each algorithm that it supports. Now the one that we're gonna be using is ethash, which is this one over here. And we're gonna be editing this file. To edit the batch file, we just have to right click on it and say edit. You might get a warning like I did for, from Windows to protect your PC. We can just say run anyway. And then we get a very simple text file here with just a couple things that we need to change in order to customize it to our settings. So let me just zoom in a bit here so you can see it better. And now there's a few things that we're gonna wanna switch. And the first thing that we're gonna do is set the pool. So in this area over here, we're gonna change the pool to the pool that we wanna use, and we're gonna be using Ethermine. So let me open up the website for Ethermine here, and I'll just bring it onto the screen. So here we go. And I'm gonna go over to Start Mining, and I'm gonna scroll down a bit here. And so you have four different servers to choose from. You have the Asia, Europe, you have the US East and the US West. So I'm gonna use the US East. Uh, that's because I'm in Canada and this is the closest server to me. So I'm gonna highlight this, which is the server address. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna open up my miner. And inside the miner text field, I'm gonna paste it right here. I'm gonna leave the semicolons alone and I'm gonna paste it there. Okay, so us.ethermine.org colon. Now we're not gonna be using 2020 because the port is different. We're gonna delete that. And over here, you can see that the port number is 4444. So let me switch back over here. I'm gonna type that in 4444, and that is done. And next, we're gonna use a wallet. So I'm gonna minimize that. And the next thing that we wanna do is change the wallet. Now, this is the default wallet that's in here, but you wanna delete it and put your own wallet in. So I'm gonna highlight this, and I'm gonna delete it. Now I'm gonna get my own wallet address. So I'm gonna copy my wallet and then I'm gonna paste it in here. And that's my wallet address. Please don't use my wallet address because anything you mine will come to my account and I'll get paid for your work and you don't want that. So put in your own wallet address in here. Next, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you can either just leave this. I'm gonna leave it as this, but this is just the name of the miner. 
uh, when you go to the website and check it out later on, that's what's going to populate. And that's just the label. So you can call it whatever you want. It doesn't have to be LOL minor worker. It could be anything of your choosing. And then when you're done, you just click on the file menu at the top and then we're just going to save it. And then that's it. So back at our main window, we're going to go back into the folder and we're going to double click on the batch file to execute it. So it's going to automatically pop up here and then right off the bat, it's going to give a little bit of a description of the information it gathered. And we have a GeForce GTX 1660 Ti. Uh, it knows that the vendor is NVIDIA and it's giving you the information about the memory and the algorithm that's been selected. So just a little bit of information it provides right off the bat, but all this can be found on the website. And that's what we're going to check out right now. So here we are back at the ethermine.org website. This is where you can see the progress of how much you've earned over a period of time. And the way you're going to do that is by using your unique wallet address. So up here at the top, it says minor address. This is where you're going to put your wallet address. So I'm just going to put mine in here and then automatically populates with all your information. So everything that we have uh, that we have running right now will be populated in here. And if you scroll down, you can see it over a period of time of what your current and average uh, hash rates are and how much you're expected to earn over a period of time. And then you can see your workers below and anyone that's active right now. So I just shut mine down right now. That's why it says inactive. Maybe I'll turn it back on in just a second. But LOL minor worker, if you remember this is the name of the worker, you can change it and label it to whatever you want. It doesn't actually have to be that. So if you have multiple graphics cards in your PC, you can change each one to in each individual one. So you just zero in on what card is doing what, just an easier way to organize it. And then if you scroll back up at the top, you can go over to payouts. And inside the payouts tab, you can see that you have a timeline of how much you've earned over a period of time. By default, it shows you the last 24 hours. The payouts happen in every 24 hour period. And by default, you're getting paid as soon as you earn one Ethereum. Now you can scroll that down into 0 0.1, which I've set mine to. Uh, so the payments happen a little bit more frequently. And then next under settings, we have the option to set alerts. So anything that goes offline or if any of your workers go offline, it'll automatically send you an email. And then you have a payment threshold. So I've switched mine to 0 0.1. The default is one Ethereum. Uh, so you can go anywhere in the, in the, you can go anywhere in the range of 0 0.1 to 10 Ethereum and it gets paid out every 24 hours. And to confirm all the changes at the bottom, you have to enter in your IP address. Now, this is a public website, so people have visibility to this. So the only way to confirm that you are you and submit the changes is by putting in your IP address. And lastly, we have the help desk area. It takes you over to a support portal. So if you have any questions or any issues that are happening, you can go into the portal and uh, you'll, they'll be able to answer your questions. I haven't used it personally myself, but apparently they're very responsive. So here we are back at the main dashboard. We're up and running and we're mining Ethereum. So that's how you do it. That's how you mine Ethereum on a Windows 10 PC. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.